Oh, hey, welcome everybody to the Faithful Studios here. I am Tyson, I'm Faithfully Bearded, and today we are going to talk all about faith. So we're going to continue our UBU series. We're going to start a devotional series. We're going to do it all together. So grab your coffee. Wait, grab your bang. Grab your coffee. Grab onto the man main and let's get it started right after this. All right, so you guys have been watching my videos. You know that uh, I'm extremely faithful and that we act in a godly way in everything that we do. And sometimes you have ups and sometimes you have downs. And I made a video last week declaring my faults and what I have messed up with in my marriage. And I spent ample time uh, last week feeling remorse and feeling regret, feeling shame, and um, really struggling with forgiveness and forgiving myself. So I ended up sitting on at the church in the parking lot and just God was calling me, you know, like, you, you know, you can't do this alone. You can't do this alone. You can't do this alone. You've lost your way and you need to gather everything back up and come to me. So I did. I gathered myself, I went to the church, and I prayed. And I prayed, and I prayed, and I prayed, and I watched some devotionals, and it kind of hit me, you know, and I was like, I haven't been the best Christian. We all make mistakes, but I found myself uh, making more than I should and not necessarily living by the word of the Bible the best that I can to my ability. Nobody's perfect. We're all not going to live the exact commands, the exact wants, and the exact word that the Bible states. But we all can live that word to the best of our ability. So I found uh, this group or this couple, this married couple, and they really changed my mind, and not necessarily changed my mind, but they really inspired me. They inspired me to be better, to live the word to the best that I can, and they showed me how. So I started watching their videos, and I started, uh, I, I've actually had their book, and so there's a book called Husband After God, and so I started digging into that, and I started reading st uh, the Bible on marriage, and and uh, basically what these guys are about is the marriage and the ministry that is created by marriage. God has called us to be married and granted us with wives or husbands. And he's laid out the whole blueprint on how to be a Christian and how to be um a good spouse and how to live your marriage, right? So I spent so many times, so much time over the last week, really gaining knowledge and digging into the word and adjusting things that I need to adjust to get into the word the best that I can be. So I dug in, uh, to their YouTube channel and I spent time listening to what they had to say, reading the Bible studies. Uh, I have the Husband After God book, which is basically, it's written by them. Um, it's meant for the husbands. There's a Wife After God one. And it's like a 30 day plan. You read a ch There's 30 chapters, you read 30, you read a chapter a day. So I'm getting into that. Um, but just talking about some of the um, stuff that 
really soaked into me and me and was just like Tyson you got to be better and it, it's it comes from Ephesians in the Bible so if we go to Ephesians uh, 4 and we go to 17 there's instructions for Christian living so I tell you this and insist on it in the Lord that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do in the futility of their thinking they are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. Having lost all sensitivity, they have given themselves over to sensuality as to indulge in every kind of impurity, and they are full of greed. That, however, is not the way of life you learned. When you heard about Christ and you were taught in him in accordance with the truth that is, in Jesus, you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to be put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, each of you must put off your falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor, for we are all members of one body. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. Anyone who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must work, doing something useful with their own hands, that they may have something to share with those in need. Do not let any wholesome, unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as Christ forgave you. Follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children, and walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. So that comes from Ephesians, and that really hit home with me. Because a lot of times, what we do in life and in our marriage is we get upset, we get hurt, and we react out of anger. It is right in the Bible that we do not retaliate that way. We continue to bless even when those have hurt us. So, for me, that hit home and it's been a huge way of thinking for me. It's been a great way of thinking. And... We don't have a choice but to forgive, right? If somebody wrongs us, we bless them and we forgive them. It's in the Bible. And which one of us is better than Jesus himself? Which one of us is higher than God who sent his son to die on the cross to forgive us all of our sins? We're no better than that, right? So why can we not forgive? So we made, Maddie and I, made the decision to forgive and have the utmost amount of love forgive and bless and this has created a whole new world for us a whole new world we're diving into um, Bible studies to we have a whole new way of thinking with our marriage we have uh, these books that are kind of like a guide to how a husband should treat his wife and vice versa and we've learned that marriage is the first ministry and without us being in a solid ministry together, we have nothing to offer anybody else. We have nothing to give. And so our primary focus has been our relationship with God and faith and with each other and building our ministry up so we can better serve everybody around us. So um, this, this couple, Aaron and Jennifer Smith, uh, they're known on Instagram as is Marriage After God. They have a YouTube channel, Marriage After God. And if you're into faith at all, and you're married or you're in a relationship, they can really help. And they, this has opened my eyes and changed my life and my way of thinking. And I've never talked to them. I don't know anything more about them than their books and their, their YouTube videos. But for me, it's been life-changing. It's a game-changer. And they are coming out with a book. Um, they are coming out with a new book, I believe, in June. Um, I, I believe it's called Marriage After God, and, and it's the actual book that they're writing. And I'm going to be into that and interested in that because from what I've got out of this, I gave myself to Christ 
again. I've done it before, but I had made more mistakes. And I had my redeemer in Maddie. And she opened my eyes and pointed out that I was not being a very good Christian in certain aspects of life. And we all have our faults, we all have our downs. But she was my redeemer and brought me redemption to the Lord. And I went and asked for him to take over and fill my body and my soul with his word. And to have the Holy Spirit be within my soul. And since then, I've had this huge relief lifted off. And I've been able to slowly speak in reaction and not speak with anger or with selfishness or with hurt. I've been able to take the criticism, if there is any, to take um, any comments, and if Maddie and I disagree on something, to calmly sit down and, what would God want me to do in this situation? How can I bless her in an argument? How can I bless any one of you guys when something might be attacking me or feel attackful? So, with all that said, I just wanted to say... To follow up with my video from last week on, on how everybody makes mistakes and we forgive. And the way of forgiving is to trust and believe in God and that God has the best interest in everybody. And Maddie trusts me that I'm living a faithful life through God and that I'm going to lead our family through God. And she knows when I have doubts and I have questions that I go to this right here because this is our guide to life. It tells us how to be a Christian. It tells us how to run our marriage. It tells us how to treat other people. It tells us how to praise God. It tells us everything. This is like a rule book, a guide book, uh, instruction manual, if you will, to life and how to live a pros prosperous life. And with a few things out of here, we can change the whole community. We can change who we are as a person. We can change our relationships with people, whether it's our children, our spouses, our parents, our in-laws, our friends, our neighbors. It's right in here. To treat your enemies with love. Love your neighbor. And I am soaking this up. And my, I guess my... Moral of this video is, through tough times, whether you're a Christian or you're not a Christian, it's never too late to accept God and to commit to following the demands, the guidelines, the rules, the instructions that God has laid out for us. Remember, forgiveness is a big deal. Forgive those who hurt you, who go against you. Get rid of your malice and spread love and grace to everybody. It's never too late to accept God and to forgive. We are no better than anybody else. We are no better or bigger than God. And he forgave us and continues to forgive us every time we sin. That's not an excuse to go sin. But remember, God forgives our every sins. And he loves us. So we can forgive those who trespass against us, who sin against us, who hurt us. And that's something that we have brought into our marriage. And our marriage, our ministry, is tighter than it's ever been. We are amazing right now. And it's all due to God and the wonderful people that help spread the word of God. So you too can be the light and spread the light of God. Watch these videos. We'll do a devotional. We're going to stop and pray for people who send me DMs that ask me to pray. If you send me a DM and ask me to pray for you, I do it right then and there before I even respond to you. Because if I didn't, and then I don't do it, that would be lying to you, and that would be deceitful. If I say, yeah, you're in our prayers, and then I don't pray for you, that's lying. And I'm not about that. I'm not going to lie to anybody. I'm going to be open and honest to everybody, and I'm changing the way that everything in our life works from Aubrey to Maddie to me to the way we praise and to the way we spread God's word. So 
We're going to start doing this on Wednesdays. We're going to do a devotional. We're going to read something out of the Bible. If you guys are just here for beard content, I won't be hurt if you don't watch my videos. If you don't watch the Wednesday videos, continue watching the beard stuff. Great. But if you guys want a little faith in your life, more than we give in our unboxings and reviews and live streams, you need a little positivity to spread God's word. You need a little motivation, a little encouragement. You want to get together with your spouse and you guys want to do a marriage devotional and help each other be better for our spouses, hit me up. Put it in the comments. We can create a group and we can do marriage devotionals and we can get together every Wednesday or any day of the week and we can do Bible study groups on, on relationships and marriage and we can all learn God's word together and implement it together. We can change the world one faithful person at a time. And we can live out the instructions that God has given us. So if you guys agree with this or you don't agree with this, give me an amen. Give me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you haven't. And let me know if you want more of this type of content. Because this is changing my life in everything that I do. From work to my relationships to Maddie's work, to Maddie's school, to Aubrey's life, to her school, to how we run our household. And it's the best thing we have ever done. And Maddie will agree to that. If she wasn't at work right now, she would agree to that. So we're going to live this out, and I hope you guys follow along to see how it turns out. I'm not pressuring anybody to jump on board, but if you would like to, we will help you. And the Bible will help you. So I think that's it for today, guys. Continue being you. That's what this is about. I'm not afraid to get on here and tell what happened to me. I'm not afraid to get on here and say that I found God's word again, and that God forgive me, and I forgive anybody that has done anything wrong to me, and I will always respond in the godly way. So, enjoy the rest of your guys' days. If you have a beard, keep it going. If you don't have a beard, think about growing one. If you're a woman, encourage your husband to grow a beard. And let's all get into the word together. So, thank you for watching. Again, I'm Tyson. Thank you for your time. I, all I hope you guys all have a blessed day. And until I see you next time, God bless you all.